Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And today we're gonna discuss something that still haven't been on my channel. We're gonna talk about today chatbot and chatbot comments especially and timers. So let's do it. So first of all, comments. What can you use the comments for? Uh, you can start a game. You can show something what's previously you set up in your stream. You can mod somebody. A lot of different amazing functions you can create with it. So what kind of comments I have in Twitch? So you have the basic core comments, what you can use without any chatbot, giving the moderation rights for somebody or kick somebody. And you have another type of comments, what you can use with your chatbot and you can also program. These ones we're gonna work today and I'm gonna show you guys how to set them up. And from these one also, there is two different types. One is them, one of them is the simple comments and another one is the advanced one. And I'm gonna explain today the simple ones. That one's gonna be a different video later on. And the second half of the video, I'm gonna explain timers. These are the texts what you can set previously uh, in your bot and show them time to time in your chat. Okay, so comments. And from comments, I would like to talk about social comments first, because those are really important. I personally use them as comments and also as timers on my chat, because I think social media is a really important core for streaming. I personally use Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, uh, YouTube, and also TikTok. And I love to show to people time to time these social channels. If you're a beginner streamer without social media, it's almost impossible to get popular. I think social media is a really core and the sense to get yourself noticed out there. But let's talk about how to make a single comment first. Okay, guys, you know the role, openstreamlabs.com in the browser and log in. I'm gonna log in with my Twitch. Perfect. And on the left side on the future is gonna be Cloudbot. Click on that. And we're gonna click on the third tab, comments. Whoa. So now you have on the right side the button add comment. There where you can add your new comment. But as you see, I already have a couple of comments. So an existing one I'm gonna use to explain the whole thing. Okay, so we're gonna start with a social one. And I promise here is YouTube. Perfect. You have also a lot of previously uh, made templates, what you can use. You don't have to start from zero, from scratch. But today I'm going to say the suggested ones, what I, I personally really suggest you have to implement to your streaming platform. So uh, we're going to make, for example, the comment YouTube here, exclamation mark YouTube. Then really important, every time when you make a comment, you're going to start with an exclamation mark. Then you're going to write behind it the comment what you want to use for it to trigger the response but bring us to the second point the response here is the text what's going to be the answer for your comment when you what you write in the chat so when you type youtube in the chat that's going to be my bot response there so check out my youtube channel for streaming guides and highlights and i also paste the link here and you have an option to reply in in chat or you can whisper to somebody and there is a permission where you can choose who can use that command. These comments are for everybody. So regular subscriber, moderators and streamers. But there's also different comments what you don't want other people to use. Maybe only your moderators. Maybe it's specially made for your subscribers or only laggers. So people not going to spam your chat with them. There's also a couple of comments what only you want to use, for example. Then click advanced step, please. There is cooldown for every single comment. You can set them. If you leave it in zero, there is no cooldown for them, but you can set for user or global, and you can also give them a cost for channel points or for the currency, what you set. So there is a base cost for it, then every, which cost for everybody, the subscriber and for regular and for the moderator, you can also set separate costs for it. Uh, aliases. Um, here you can set a command for the same response. So I have for YouTube and YT, exclamation mark YT, and the same response is going to be triggered for both comments. Keywords. 
Okay, so keywords works like if somebody use one of these words in the chat, the response is also going to be triggered. It's like an automated response for the, if the word or this word is contained in any text. Okay, if you pull with the settings, you click on confirm, always click on for confirm or the settings not going to be saved. Now let's have a look how they work in a chat. Okay, so I'm going to my Twitch chat and I'm gonna show you guys how it's working live. So first I'm gonna type exclamation mark YouTube. Then coming the response, what I already stated there. I'm gonna use also the alias here. Having the same response and I'm gonna write YouTube without exclamation mark and coming also the same message. The next two suggested uh, comments what I what I personally suggest is a lurk and unlurk these commands your viewers can say hey I'm not in front of the PC don't shout me out or hey I'm not here uh, you can talk to me in the next couple of minutes or I can't respond because I'm AFK so for lurk I'm using exclamation mark lurk so somebody can say hey I have an open tab for you but I'm not I'm not in I'm not in front of keyboard and when somebody's coming back they can also say in my chat so exclamation mark alert people say hey I'm here I'm ready to chat with you then the third one what's really important for me and a lot of people asking me always it's uptime I'm gonna say exclamation mark uptime and it says the stream have been live or it stays now offline because I'm not online, but it's gonna say a time here. And it's also saying the second language in the end of it. You see, this one and my name here is a variable. And I'm gonna show you guys how can you build around that. So you go back to the Streamlabs and we're first gonna look for Lurk. Okay, here we go. And you see, these are, this variable here is responsible to show the person name who typed the command inside. So you use exactly this phrase here and you build your text around it. Then it's gonna say the name for the person who used this command. The same goes for alert too, okay? For uptime, we use a different variable. Uh, where is the uptime? Oh, here is the uptime. And for uptime, you're gonna use this phrase here with uptime, okay? It's really easy, but if you're looking for more uh, variables, all of them stated here in the third app here in the variables, and uh, you can look for what you need for your context. In my chat, I also put different comments for my moderators because I really honor them and I do them on my special way. So when some of them arrive, uh, they can use their special comment. I'm going to show you guys because Morty is one of my uh, amazing moderators. So then it's going to show, hey, Morty has arrived and Maito is also my amazing moderator. And you're going to see he also have his own uh, little response from the chatbot when he is arriving and he plays. These comments only the moderators can use nobody else and me obviously okay and the last one what I'm gonna show you guys these are the main memes uh, memes is amazing for my viewers they love it they love to play with them there's a lot of amazing memes what you're using I'm gonna show you two or three guys uh, I use a lot of camojis and uh, people love them so for example that's for apex and we got another one uh, for example for the ladies for the ladies goes then we're giving a rose Cool. Let's talk about timers now. So next to the comments, click on timers. On some chatbots, timers and comments are this in the same place. So you can set comments as a timers too. So what the bot gonna do, gonna repeat the comments without actually typing them in. But here in Streamlabs Cloud Bot, you have to do them separately. So it's gonna be a different topic also. So I set normally only for my socials, the timers. And I'm going to show you guys how to do a new one. So when you click here on the right side, there is an app timer here. I'm going to show you guys an existing one. So it's going to be easier to explain. So I'm going to show my Discord. Uh, the name is obvious, Discord. So, but you can give whatever you want. 
and the response is same here what for my comment uh, you can join to the Spartans on Discord and I have my link here and the interval it means it's repeating in every 15 minute in my chat and it's minimum five line long really important here too when you finish video click on the save button please unless everything gonna be lost on my stream there is two or three other uh, timers too also one of them is for the donations uh, for the charity and i also have one follow so if guys love the channel just don't forget to press the follow button it's just a friendly reminder and i'm also gonna integrate in the next two days uh, stream rules and also some stream advices as a repeating comment for the people so they can have some nice text uh, what they can read uh, during my streams Alright guys, that's in short for the comments and also for the timers. Uh, if you guys love the video, please subscribe. And you can also talk to me on Twitch on Monday, Wednesday and Friday, 18.30 till late on Western European time. Till then, take care guys. Bye.